Uh, my name is Art Deacon Sillis. I'm the director of Great Expectations for Prime Stage Theater Company. We had the great opportunity to be able to talk to Mark Charles Dickens, who is Charles Dickens' great great grandson. He, of course, wasn't able to speak for his great great grandfather, but he certainly gave some really interesting insights. For example, that there were two endings to Great Expectations. Uh, that, that Charles Dickens had written one, he was set, and this, was, of course, was put out in kind of serial format, uh, the piece was. So he wrote the ending, and um, it was the ending that he was happy with, the, the publisher or editor said, no, you can't put that out. That's not what the public wants. That's not the way we want to end this story. So he made Charles Dickens rewrite the ending and, and Dickens created a little bit of a change to the way the story ended. But what we're going to do, because I got that information from Mark, uh, what we're going to do is, is be able to go ahead and really kind of give this the ending that, that Charles intended it to have. It's not any deviation from the script, it's just a subtle hint that, that changes it into the direction that we know that Charles Dickens wanted to end the piece. Nine actors play all of the characters that, that Dickens created in, in great detail. Um, there's a lot of movement and excitement. Um, it's very, very interesting to watch the character development. And the show's funny. There are wonderful, funny moments to the show. It's, it's not all drama, but it's a great story that people can relate to about growing up, about trying to be better than you are, about not appreciating the people that maybe are best for you, and sometimes being taken in by those who have ulterior motives. So it's a great story that speaks to us today. Um, it speaks to every young person and, and mature person as well. So I think it's, it's got a little bit of something for everyone.